There is a quorum. All individuals are asked to see the silence or turn off their all cell phones, pagers, and electronic devices that may disrupt the meeting. Let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Election of officers. Position of council president. Are there any nominations for council president? I'll make a nomination for Brad Hercock. I'll second. Nomination for Brad Hercock for council president. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Seeing none, we'll call it nominations will cease. Uh, all those in favor of electing Brad Hercock, Council President, say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Brad, we will take over the meeting again. Thank you. Uh, we'll take nominations for the Council Vice President, please. Okay. Get your name back up. Thank you, John. Any nominations for Council Vice President? I'll nominate Jerry Knopfler. Any other nominations? Any other nominations for Vice President? Uh, hearing no other nominations for Vice President, all in favor of Jerry Knopfler being Vice President, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you, Jerry. Approval of agenda. Approve the agenda as posted in accordance with the open meeting law and here in place all agenda items on the table for discussion. But remember we were removing item 8C and item 9K. Move to approve the agenda. Second. Motion by council member Kanofla, second by Mayor Zilka. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Approval of the minutes. Special work session meeting of December 16, 2019 and the regular meeting of December 16, 2019. Approve. What is the wish of the council? I move to approve the minutes. Second. Motion by council member Lundberg, second by council member Hansen. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. <coughs> Approval of the bills. Checks 101850 through 101923, totaling $347,217.62. What is the wish of the council? I'll make a motion to approve the bills. Second. Motion by Council Member Goshik, second by Mayor Zilka. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Awards, donations, presentations, and proclamations. We have none. Consent agenda. Animal control report, December 2019 received. Application for exempt permit, Morrison County Ducks Unlimited Bingo, VFW Post 1112, approve. Application for exempt permit, Horizon Health, Bingo and Raffle, VFW Post 1112, approve. Building report, November and December 2019 receive. Grant application, Little Falls Convention and Visitors Bureau, Minnesota, whoops, jumped a line. Visitors Bureau, Minnesota Power, approve and authorize. Housing and Redevelopment Authority minutes, October and December 2019 receive. Park Recreation and Tree Board minutes, August 2019 receive. Planning Commission minutes, December 2019 receive. Police report, December 2019 receive. Water report, December 2019 receive. What is the wish of the council? Mr. President, I'll make a motion to receive and approve the items on the consent agenda. Second. Motion by Council Member Hansen, second by Council Member Liljegren. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Public hearings and lettings. Letting CRS Enhancement Software and Services, LETG, approve. Chief. 
Good evening, uh, members of the council. Um, tonight, I'm requesting authorization to enter into an agreement with uh, LETG. Uh, they are currently our software uh, records management vendor to migrate from the SRS, uh, the current SRS reporting system with the FBI to NIBRS. Um, at the end of this year, January 1, 2021, all agencies have to report through the NIBRS uh, uh, system. Um, the transition is $8,000 uh, to install and uh, train and get uh, my staff and that includes six other agencies. So uh, the police department and every other agency on our server, uh, that cost is associated with those agencies as well. So as of right now, it, uh, the cost uh, is $8,000. I'm told uh, from LETG that that money will be reimbursed back to us uh, through uh, separate phases within uh, as they implement that program and uh, get the training established. So by the end of the year, um, by the time we make full transition, we should recover that $8,000. I don't have anything specific saying that, but I've been told that by the vendor and those funds are available uh, through the BCA currently. So um, if there are any outstanding costs, they would be shared with all of the agencies on the uh, uh, on the server. So this is the one where you do where the surrounding police departments all? Correct, yes. What is the wish of the council? I'll make a motion to approve the CRS Enhancement Software and Services, LETG. I'll second it. Motion by Mayor Zilka, second by Councilor Mergoshek. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Old business, amend motion of December 16, 2019. Position description updates. Wastewater superintendent and, uh, it was maybe one of them, the water superintendent and wastewater superintendent instead of being on the wastewater twice. Yeah. <clears throat> water superintendent and yes. wastewater superintendent. Approve, amend. Good evening, Council President and Council Members. Um, so at the December 16th meeting, there was a, a incorrect draft um, job description that was included in the Council packet. And so we are asking you to amend the motion uh, from, that, uh, from that meeting to include the correct draft. Basically, there are two changes in it, and they're both highlighted in red in here for, as you mentioned, the wastewater uh, superintendent and the water superintendent. Uh, those modifications are the FLSA status um, would be exempt on those two positions, and it did indicate that in the memo, but the job description itself uh, did not indicate that, so we wanted to correct that. And then the uh, position would report to the public works director, and so that's uh, included in this uh, amended job description as well. So if the council would, we would ask that uh, you would amend the motion from the December 16th uh, meeting to reflect those two changes uh, this evening. What is the wish of the council? I will approve and amend the motion of December 16, 2019 with the position description updates. Second. Motion by Mayor Zilka, second by Council Member Lundberg. All in favor, oops, any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 <coughs> both same sign. Resolution 2019-76, vacate certain rights of way, block three, country club edition, postpone 12-16-19, adopt. Greg. Yeah, so we spoke about this one a little bit beforehand. Um, at the December 16th meeting, this was postponed um, to clarify the disposal of right of way, whether it would be able to sell it or if it was to just vacate it um, and then return it to the adjoining property owners. Uh, in speaking with the city attorney, um, in order to sell the property, we'd have to determine, do a title work to determine the underlying ownership, um, and then we would be able to sell the, the property. Um, in the past, in years past, when we've tried to do some of that title work, the funds that we've recovered for that, uh, for selling that land hasn't hasn't made up for the title work itself. I mean, we've got some properties um, just north of here that we've done the title work on and they're still in the city's name. And so 
in this particular case, it doesn't make sense in our opinion to do that title work and then uh, try to sell that land as it is only 66 feet wide, so it wouldn't be a, a buildable lot, a legal lot, a buildable lot. And so um, if it council is uh, agreeable to, and this was the recommendation of the Planning Commission, to vacate 10th Street as well as the alleys within Block 3 Country Club Edition, um, and then we would just vacate those uh, to the adjoining property owners. Half would go to the north, half would go to the south. Um, and then east and west for those for the alleys. So we would recommend a, uh, approval of resolution 2019-76 this evening. What is the wish of the council? I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2019-76, vacation of certain right ways, block three, country club edition. I'll second. Motion by Councilmember Goshek, second by Councilmember Kanafla. Any discussion? Uh, just really, really quick, Mr. President. Um, I had a question on saleability, and I just, whoever did the work on getting the answer, I just want to thank them for that. Resolution, call a roll, please. Kanafla? Yes. Wildegren? Yes. Lundberg? Yes. Zilka? Yes. Furcock? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Goshek? Yeah. Carries. New business, retirement of Michael Neiman, fire chief and firefighter, except John. Um, it is with regret that we received the letter of retirement um, from our fire chief, Mike Neiman, who has served the city for a very long time, um, but doing so very admirably over his 32 years. He worked in a lot of different departments as well. <clears throat> So not just as a, as a firefighter and serving as our fire chief. So um, I really want to thank him for his service um, and the work that he's done. And he will be still with us for a couple more months, um, seeing the new firefighters that we, we just hired, um, <clears throat> as well as potentially, hopefully, guiding through uh, the posting and hiring of, the, of his, you know, of the successor, the replacement for the position. So with that, um, I just want to, again, say thank you to, to Mike uh, and all of his, the service that he's provided for the city <clears throat> and um, wish him the best in his retirement moving forward. What is the wish of the council? I'll make a motion to accept Mike Neiman's resignation from the position of fire chief and firefighter. I'll second. Motion by Council Member Goshek, second by Council, Mem Council Member Liljegren. Any discussion? Mr. President, I would just uh, like to add my thanks to Mike and uh, also with regrets of him leaving, but having been able to be a part of uh, the fire relief and um, interviews for the firefighters, I know he's very well respected by the entire team. Um, and he does a great job for the city, so it's going to be, uh, he's going to be hard to replace. Mr. President, I'd like to extend my thanks to him also. Living next door to him, um, I've seen his dedication to his job and uh, at many late hours of the evening and early morning, um, and he's always been available for calls to anybody. So, yeah, he's going to be missed, and he will be. thanks to him. And uh, in a ceremonious gesture. I am going to vote no to accept this. <laughs> I was going to vote no too, but we can't Careful. all vote no, can we? I told him I was going to vote no too, so evidently he can't retire. It's, uh, I, don't, I don't think we can stop him from I, retiring. It's hard to see this because when I was growing up on the west side, Mike was considered one of the kids in the block. And now he's retiring, so it makes me feel a lot older. <laughs> well, I wish he were here so I could thank him personally. Let me get that opportunity. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Aye. Position description update. Post, fire chief, approved, John. Uh, thank you, Council President. Again, with the um, retirement of our fire chief, we've 
Um, Michaela has reviewed and revised the, uh, with working with Mike, uh, the position description for fire chief. Um, we are also making sure that the um, title emergency manager is included within the, the position description is something that it has been a part of that, that expectation of that employment um, and is something that certainly serves the city well to have a designated uh, person serving as the emergency manager with all our, our hazard mitigation plans, all of our emergency planning that we, we have, um, having that, that dedicated person that we know is, is there and working towards this. So it isn't just strictly um, a position that serves as the you know, chief of the fire department. They, they will be serving um, in that capacity as well. <clears throat> As well as doing work um, as inspector in the in the title, um, too. So, just wanted to to be sure. And there's a couple other pieces in there that we we revised to um, just be more closely relevant to the to the position. <clears throat> well, what is the wish of the council, Mr. President? I'll make a motion to update uh, and uh, post for fire chief. Second. Motion by Council Member Hansen, second by Council Member Lundberg. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Position description, points and pay grade. Human Resources Director, Letter of Employment, Michaela Payne, approve. I uh, think Council President, um, <clears throat> we, uh, when we were working originally, Lori and I, um, mostly on this, on the position for that ultimately became the payroll benefits coordinator, um, we were, we really saw a need uh, for somebody that worked in the human resources side of our, uh, for our city. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of the work that was, was going towards that, that role uh, was taken up by Lori as well as many of the other tasks that we had. And it wasn't something that, uh, or it was something that we felt <clears throat> did demand adding a position to, to have services towards that. Um, at the time when we were um, re making that request, um, we had some recommendations from the council to you know, move that position down, uh, look for something that was you know, potentially not as, as significant in terms of, of job duties um, that a HR officer or even director would be um, and, and move strictly in, in moving those payroll and employee benefits um, duties into a separate position and moving them um, off of the finance officer so that she could you know, have a workload that was much more closely related to 40 hours a week than the many more than 40 hours a week that she was serving. Um, with that, we you know took that under advisement, created the position, um, hired for the position. You know, in the in the applicant pool, we had plenty of qualified candidates that were that certainly met that payroll administrator. We would have could have hired somebody that would have done that service, and we would have been you know moving forward in in that way. Um, you know, with probably a, this need coming up, maybe at a later date because it was something that we realized, didn't realize at the time, um, was really a truly a need that we had in this organization. Um, with the size of employees that we, uh, the total number of employees that we serve, not just on the full-time level, but with the part-time, with the paid on call firefighters, um, you know, there's, there's a, a, we could have up to 100, 100 people on a payroll um, in any given month, depending on, on the season. So there's, there's just a significant number of things that are going on and that we need somebody that has that skill set and ability to have that experience to know how to um, manage and handle those things. As well as, you know, implementing so much more that we want to do in terms of uh, serving our employees that we have. Um, you know, I talked about last fall this organizational structure that I have in my head for how our city needs to operate and that we have our circle of influence around the public works areas and our circle of influence that we have around public safety. Well, the things that come really bridge the gap in between is the administration and the service that we provide to and the support services that we provide to both of those circles of influence. And a really key element of that 
is the human resources director position. Um, and I truly am, am fortunate that in the time that Michaela's worked here, she's shown us that the needs that we have for that and really um, believe that this is a position that's gonna serve a city for you know greatly for a long, long period of time. Um, and that um, we have somebody that's absolutely meets all of our qualifications and ex, um, expectations with with Michaela for that so um, you know with with the position it's it's really something I, I do see us having a, a great need for um, when we talked to when we were looking at this in in budget time I was certainly taking into into consideration this potential um, you know we talked briefly had the you know we had the wastewater and water superintendent positions there before we're talking about potential for uh, structure, other structure within the organization. We do, we do have capacity within that approved budget to handle this, this change in promotion for for her position. So it's something that I do believe um, doesn't require us to to amend the budget in any any way, shape, or form. Um, so, so with that, uh, it does land as something that's truly unique within our organization, seeing that we do have. Um, most, almost all of our other employees within um, bargaining groups. Uh, the only exception being myself, who has a, uh, an employment contract. And you know, with that, uh, I respect the the concern of that um, ambiguity uh, for being a person that would have a position that wasn't served by a contract, and would also recommend that we move forward with um, the proposed contract that um, we have with the employment agreement and use that to serve as our um, employment letter uh, for, for Michaela's position. Um, truly just to help us make sure that we're uh, truly identifying what those benefits are and that there are, there's very little in here that would serve um, something that's, that's not otherwise served within some other um, bargaining groups. Um, there isn't anything in here that isn't isn't a benefit that's met by a bargaining group and or by my employment contract. There's no um, special benefits outside of that. What is the wish of the council? Mr. President, I would make a motion to approve position description, points and pay grade, human resources director, letter of employment for Michaela Payne. Second. Motion by Mayor Zilka, second by Council Member Hansen. Any discussion? Mr. President, I would just like to say that having worked with Michaela and you have uh, before, um, I think we were fortunate to have gotten somebody of her caliber. I appreciate all the double, triple, and quadruple duties that Lori's been doing over the years, but this is a position that has evolved into the need for someone who truly has HR as their primary position. Um, I look at some of the things that she came up with for John's evaluation. I look at the wellness and the engagement of the employees. Employees are saying a lot of good things about her, so I think <coughs> she'd be a great asset to our city. Any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Retirement of Anthony Lukasavitz, firefighter, accept. I'll take this one. Um, Mike wanted to be here, but he had another commitment that came up, um, and maybe he saw some writing on the wall, but uh, the Tony um, is also retiring this year, <clears throat> and another one that has served our fire department for a very long time um, with, with a lot of dedication. So uh, again, regret, but I uh, offer significant amount of thanks for his many, many, many years of service that he's provided to the city of Little Falls. 30 years. Yeah. What is the wish of the council? I'll make a motion to accept Tony Lukasevich's resignation from the fire department. I'll second. Motion by council member Goshek, second by council member Kanafla. Any discussion? 
Thank you to Tony as well. Definitely. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. SWAT team cooperative agreement, Morrison County Sheriff Department. Approve and authorize, Chief. I believe the SWAT team was created back in 2005 and I was one of the original members of that. Um, we've evolved a lot in that time. Um, in the past, we operated under a mutual aid agreement with Morrison County, which was a, just a standard mutual aid agreement between Little Falls, Morrison County, and all the other agencies uh, in the county. Uh, Piers has since uh, been brought on board to the SWAT team, so we felt it was time to create a policy and to maybe formalize that uh, relationship uh, with the SWAT team. So basically, that's what this agreement does. It lays out authority and responsibilities by all, by Piers, Little Falls, and Morrison County. Um, our attorney, uh, the Piers attorney and the county attorney have signed off on this agreement, so we feel it's uh, pretty responsible from, from all the parties involved. So um, I'm requesting authorization to uh, enter into this agreement with Morrison County and the city of Piers to formalize the SWAT team. What is the wish of the council? Council President, I move to approve and authorize the SWAT team cooperative agreement between the Morrison County Sheriff's Department, the City of Pierce Police Department, and the Little Falls Police Department. Second. Motion by Council Member Lundberg, second by Mayor Zilka. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Development Agreement for Tax Increment Financing, DJ Products, LLC. Approve and authorize, Lori. Yes, good evening, Council. Um, before you tonight, we have the Development Agreement um, for the Tax Increment Project with DJ Holdings. The Council back in 2017 established the TIF District, um, and as a part of that TIF District, um, we were go going to participate in site improvements and, and mostly soil corrections out there. So. Um, that project has um, been completed and we have the invoices and so now this is the actual agreement for the reimbursement of those dollars um, through the tax increment. What is the wish of the council? Mr. President, I'll make a motion to uh, approve the development agreement for tax increment financing DJ products LLC. Second. Motion by Council Member Hansen, second by Council Member Lundberg. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Petition for annexation, firewood.com, LLC. Sharon Wilsack, receive, Lori. Yes, we did receive a petition for annexation um, for a small piece of property would be just east of the existing Paul's Firewood. There is a map um, that is enclosed along with the petition, but the the property, they own the property um, between Heron Road and three, Highway 371. Most of it is in the city limits, but there is a small portion of it that is not in the city limits. It's my understanding that they want to con construct another building and would need to annex that so that they can um, build on that, another building on that lot. What is the wish of the council? I'll make a motion for annexation, firewood, Tom LLC, Sharon Wilsack. Received, do we need just a first and second? Second, yeah, because we're not doing an introduction. Was that a second? Yes. And a vote, please. Motion by Council Member Liljiger and second by Council Member Hansen. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Resolution 2020-01. Designate official newspaper, adopt city council. What is the wish of the council? Motion to adopt. Second. Motion by Mayor Zuka, second by Council Member Kanafla. Any discussion? <coughs> Resolution, call a roll please. Liljegren? Yes. Lundberg? Yes. Zilka? Yes. Hercock? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Bushick? Yes. Kanafla? Yes. Carries. Resolution 2020-02, designate official depositories. Adopt City Council. 
What is the wish of the council? I move that we adopt resolution 2020-02. Second. Motion by council member Lundberg. Second by council member Hansen. Any discussion? Resolution, call a roll, please. Lundberg, yes. Zilka, yes. Kirkpock, yes. Hansen, yes. Bushick, yes. Kanopoulos, yes. Liljegren, yes. Carries. Resolution 2020-03, decertify tax increment financing district number 36, Minnesota Veterinary Associates, adopt. Lori. Yes, as of December 31st of 2019, we have collected enough increment to decertify the TIF district for the Minnesota Veterinary Clinic. So um, I would ask that this resolution be approved by the council tonight to decertify the TIF district. Um, the, the property then will go back on the normal tax rolls and um, as any other property in the city. What is the wish of the council? Move to adopt resolution 2020-03. Second. Second. Motion by Council Member Kanafla, second by Council Member Lundberg. Any discussion? Resolution, call a roll, please. Zilka? Yes. Kirkpock? Yes. Hansen? Yes. Gushik? Yes. Kanafla? Yes. Liljegren? Yes. Lundberg? Yes. Carries. City Council reports on city authorities, boards, bureaus, commissions, and committees. You don't have anything? Or any announcements? Then we will adjourn at 8.01.